Here you can get some idea of what Plesetsk is like. It's a military base with a residential area called Mirny. The Cosmodrome still retains a few traces of the Cold War period and entry is by permission only. The town is composed of streets lined by blocks of utility housing, running at right angles to a large square in which a statue of Lenin still stands. So, traces of the Soviet period remain again. Many young women married to soldiers posted to Plesetsk take their children out for a walk in their pushchairs. The atmosphere is very provincial, but reminders of space exploration are never far away. On the way into Plesetsk is an impressive monument erected in memory of those who died in the service of cosmonautics. The mainly young soldiers killed in two accidents that occurred in 1973 and then in 1980, when two rockets being made ready exploded on their launch pads. The Cosmodrome, situated about a thousand kilometers north of Moscow, only became officially known to the rest of the world in 1983. However, it is without doubt one of the busiest bases and will soon have clocked up 2,000 space launchings, not to mention missile firings. It's ideally situated for polar orbiting, hence the decision to use this launch site for the Goche satellite, an aerodynamic craft that will help us to gain a better understanding of our planet.